So, funny thing about Black Panther. I mean, obviously I loved it. Wait, Wakanda Forever? Yeah. <laughs> say it. You know your feel. It's fun to say. It's fun to say. It is, it's so fun to say because it is a time when uh, black people are unabashedly proud to greet and acknowledge each other. Right? It is beyond the nod that we are safe in the setting, but it's actually a declaration that we're proud to be here and to be seen. It's even done in front of white people, right? With comfort. And if you think about it, if you go through your history, uh, that's an exceptional thing to have a greeting like that for men, for women, to treat each other well, proudly in that setting. And I'm just very thankful for that. I'll sort of tell my own little mutant story. Um, because I always thought I was a mutant, I'll tell you why. If you know me, um, it's very hard to, um, to hide things from me. I'm very perceptive. And um, I remember this actually kicking in uh, when I was like about five years old. And uh, when I was five years old, I was a very smart kid. And so my parents had me tested so they could chart the best possible course. Sorry, it's hard. My brother's here. Say it to my brother. Ah, they're here. <laughs> Anyway, um, and so I got a test, I got my little IQ test, and uh, they wouldn't tell me how it went, right? I, I knew it went well, because I'm good at tests, always been good at tests. So um, as I want to do, I went through all their things until I found it, until I found the results. I went through all their possessions. I did not mm -hmm. give a fuck. I wanted to know <laughs> what was up. It's five years old. Um, and so um, I got a 171. I'm very smart, and um, I knew that, you know, I looked up, I knew I was exceptionally special, and I didn't know what that meant my power would be. Um, at first, I tried to freeze things with my mind. <laughs> didn't work out like I thought. It's so true, oh my God, I used to go in the basement. Uh, the, you understand, I'd go in the basement of the pool table, just try to freeze things with my mind. Just, ah, just waiting for something to happen. I mean, things got colder, it was the basement. <laughs> the freezing that I thought would manifest, um, you know, didn't happen. Um, as it became more like X-Men movies and cartoons and stuff, I came to identify with a couple of characters. Um, I identified with Rogue um, because dealing with me can be a little draining, and I like to take on the best traits of my friends, and I like to think that I'm a reflection of them um, if they can withstand dealing with me wanting that so much. Um, I also identify with Dr. Xavier because I like looking around him like this and I want to know what everyone is doing. Like it's really hard, you see me look down, it's because when I look up at you, I'm like getting stuff from like a lot of you at once um, and it's joyful, but it's, it's a lot. Um, however, Black Panther was the first movie where I really, bah, like get it, right? So what I'm like is, I'm like vibranium, it turns out. Uh, I am this very, very useful secret thing for helping other people. And I love helping black people. And I, you know, I remember my parents, I'm sure they're very concerned. What would happen if the white people get control of them? Just like vibranium. <laughs> um, and I find myself, I, I always try to articulate it, but I am just, I mean, that when I saw the movie and I saw us and we had our own spaceships and pilots and just respect and culture and our intersectionality between, you know, how do we pe treat people of different economic statuses, right? Are we just trying to live at the 99th percentile? Or are we trying to lift up the sea of black people and provide opportunities, right? And that's something we all navigate when you achieve. You read my achievements, right? And you go like, oh, you worked on Matt and he did this, that's great. I, I mean, I will tell you the thing that I'm most proud of are the opportunities that I've given for other young people to live their best life, right? I try to do it today um, by teaching, uh, obviously inspired by you, Mr. Elder, what you do, I see you, right? <laughs> Lifting people up, right? That, um, that is what sort of matters. I feel as though, and I obviously I hold this trophy in the highest regard, but when it's all over, I will not count trophies. I got lots of trophies, I do. But what we'll have, hopefully, are some people, like the people who came here today, right? To be here, like, right? Because it matters, like, that is what I want to count. That is how I hopefully spend my time. Wakanda Trail. So into it. <laughs>